the real estate sector still portends good opportunity for you and me to make money. Some would say that the bubble burst on this sector, but I say no, because there still remains a housing deficit. And in there, where there's a problem, there's always an opportunity for you and me to make some dime. This is how you can do it. The real estate sector, although it has seen a large growth over the past three years, it remains one of the critical growth drivers and an area where many keep wealth. But there are important virtues one has to respect to make it here. Let's look at location, for instance. You know, in real estate, yes, and that's what I studied, location is, is, is everything. Location is, in fact, real estate sometimes is defined as location, location, location. If you look at where this project is right now, this is the, what you could, you could call the high-end location. Right from your apartment, you, express, uh, you join the express road. If you're not joining the express road, you go straight to the other facilities. The hotel is right up uh, across. The other aspect is pricing. Many developers find it hard to come to the right price. They will change. Just because of the express road, just because of the golf course across, the price of an acre of land has gone almost 1 billion shillings. When we acquired this land 10 years ago, it wasn't even half of that. So we said now, you cannot take advantage of that. You cannot just start increasing the price of the apartment just because the land has gone up. The other issues is having a good grasp of the taste and preferences of your potential buyers. I've always advised my clients, especially those that are in the diaspora, before you deposit on any property, you need to understand the room sizes and see what you're buying. Ugandans love space and you must give them space. You'd rather charge them slightly more, but you give them the space. We still have land, that's a good thing. So it doesn't make sense for you actually to buy an apartment and it, you cannot even fit there yourself. In fact, there are some apartments people say you, you cannot even go to the bathroom and it, they are so tiny. So space is number one. And before you think of joining the business, one of the major points is your financial stability. Relying on financial institutions' support is being discouraged by seasoned operators. In fact, if you look at how much money the bank would give you and the mortgage at the end of the 20 years, the cost of this house will go almost twice or even more than twice. Does it make sense? It doesn't make sense. Will you be able to pay that money as you're aging? It may not be possible. So if you can look at other avenues, yeah, or financing your project without even involving a mortgage, it would be better. Even us here, as we're developing this project, people came to us and say, we want to give you money to develop the project. But you know what? That would make the cost of one apartment here 500 million or 600 million. Even with its recent slowdown, the sector remains viable for investment because numbers favor it. Today, the country remains with a housing deficit that runs in hundreds of thousands of units in Kampala alone, and many more out there. <laughs>